Okay, this is a video I've been meaning to make for a really long time. This is Wilson's nursery tour, and I wish I would have done it when he was littler because it was not as jam-packed with stuff, but it's the room that's been his room for the last almost year, and so I want to document it. But So when you walk in the door, this is Wilson's little crib, the first thing you see. And I made this little sign for him the day before I uh, had him. I was in here like doing it, and then I ironed that on backwards so it's an artsy little touch and then I made this little um mobile for him when I was pregnant so that was fun and then this is okay these pillows don't stay in here I know that's a safety hazard but this is how it was when he was a first little tiny baby so I wanted to have them in there but Bobby's grandma made that for him which is so stinking cute and then that pillow is cute too so this is a mattress it's the Newton mattress I love it it's really good peace of mind so thanks Newton for sending that over and then this is one of my favorite things. This is Wilson's um, little baby blanket that my grandma and my mom made for him. And it says Wilson James on it. Like they're stitched in. It's so sweet. And we picked out the fabric and it was really special. So, and then this crib is like, yeah, you know, the most basic crib. And then over here, this is a plant that Wilson has ripped off many leaves from the crib. So I've just slowly moved it. This will not be in his room any longer when we move to our new spot. Yeah, do you wanna get down and play? You wanna get, no? Okay, and then this little armoire, you wanna get down, go get it. This little armoire is um, one that we thrifted and sanded down, and in here, I keep um, his hanging clothes. They're just a mishmash. They were all white hangers at one point and really pretty. There's blankets and then all of his shoes, because I love thrifting shoes for him. These are shoes that are too big for him, but like, one day he'll be wearing these. And if I find good deals on them, I'll buy them because they're just so stinking cute. Like $3.99 for that, I had to buy those. And then they're just like extra clothes in here. Wilson, Wilson's done with this. <laughs> but I keep like extra stuff in there for him, like things that are too big, things that I collect, I keep boxes in there. So, and then this is my closet, which I'm not gonna look in there. Oh, I forgot. Up here, this was in my room when I was a baby. And then these were, someone gifted us these from his baby shower. And just cute little things and I love this little lamb picture it just is really sweet um yeah I love this picture this is from Hobby Lobby and then this is thrifted probably but love this little corner oh and then this corner not the cutest but his bassinets in there you know he grew out of it obviously and so I keep like the snuggle me and like blankets and then those are clothes that he grows out of I just throw them back there so then I can put them all away um and Wilson's got his hat and then if you come over here on this corner, this is where he keeps some of his toys and which he's probably gonna come play with this and then some stuffed animals. And then this is not very used space at this point in Wilson's life, but this is his little changing baskets from, uh, gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. Baby, BB basket, bask, I'll link it, but it's really cute. It has a sweet little insert. And then his little mirror, which he loved looking at when he was little. He still loves looking in it, but I don't really put him up here to change anymore. And then this is a cute little vintage wood toy. And then this is just so random because he pulls things on his crib now. So I have to keep this over here. So it's, this is not how it was when he was a baby. And then this was mine when I was a baby. It makes music. It's really sweet. So he loves that. And then his sound machine, a little thrifted lamp. And then over here is a really sweet corner. This was his first little outfit when we were in the hospital. It's got some stains now, but this is like what I took his announcement picture in. And I think it's so sweet. I'll probably do that for all the babies. And then these shelves have some special things. This is his Bible that my Nana who passed away um, gifted him and it's really sweet and it has his name on it. And then this is one my other grandma gave us. So little wood toys, his first little animals, little stuffy that I probably should get down so we can play with but he hasn't been like interested in like this type of play yet and then I have a verse that I really liked for him I won't read it all but just hold on to the word do not let your eyes wander and keep them in the midst of your heart so it's longer but that's Proverbs 4 20 through 26 and I really liked that little plant and then Wilson blocks and then this is his dirty clothes basket and this is his dirty diaper bin that we haven't used in a while this is really special my brother made this for him and it's a toy chest it doesn't have a lot of toys in it right now but i did keep all of his like love every toys that just weren't quite um his age so love that and then over here is some books 
And this has just become the uh, overflow book corner. Uh, it's a lot of books, but it works and Wilson is, mm. wow, into getting into them. So I'll show you the rest of this corner. And then this is this sweet little book corner. We have really cute little books on here and we love that. Read in this little rocking chair. I got this rocking chair when we got married and I got the rocking version of this chair because it was like, well, we have a baby one day. And then only five months later, we had a baby, we got pregnant. So um, <laughs> it came in handy. And we read our books here and we eat here. And then this little poof is from Target. It was only $30. It was like in the back to school dorm section last summer because it was almost a year. And that's when I was still pregnant this time last year. So this is pretty much his whole little room and it's been really sweet. We move out today, that's why I'm filming this. Oh, and this rug. I get questions about this rug all the time. It's from Fred Meyer. It's like a grocery store type thing. So um, yeah, it's been sweet. Well, I guess I could show you some drawer organization. I don't know if people wanna say that. It used to be really organized when Wilson was a baby, but now I don't have time to like stand here and like perfectly put his clothes away. His jammies are in here. And then we have like socks, hats, bibs burp rags which he hasn't used in a long time and like his little swim hats and swimsuits and medicine lotion this is wipes and diapers but there's no diapers in there and these are all of his clothes that he's currently in these are actually sized like six to nine to like over a year because i buy sweaters that are like too big for him and stuff but yeah this was really organized once upon a time but it's just all of his little clothes so that is kind of everything. Oh, and these are just clothes that um, he does. He loves to pull the clothes out of these. So this is not organized because that's a good distracting mechanism to have him just pull all those clothes out. Um, so those aren't folded, but they're too big for him right now. So that's why they're, yep, here he goes. This is his favorite. He loves to pull the clothes out. Are you helping? Yes. Good yeah, job, he's helping. Wilson. So that's what that drawer is, but it is clothes that are gonna fit him one day. Like this old vintage Nike shirt I found, cute. Just anyway, cute stuff like that. So that is everything. Do you want to say bye? Come here. Do you want to say bye? Also, they're doing construction out the window right there, so hopefully you could hear okay. But this is his sweet little room that we have loved. And today we're packing it up and moving to our new place, which I'm excited. It'll be sweet. I'm going to set it up a little bit more for play because this is definitely like nursery where his toys aren't really, they're all downstairs. So the next room will be a little bit more play friendly, I guess. He still plays up here, but this is Lil Wilson's nursery. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. So if you've been waiting for this video, I appreciate your watching, even though it's like a year late. So I will see y'all in the next couple of home videos.